If you think that your time triggers aren't running in the range that you've assigned to them, it might be because your Google Apps Script's time zone is in the wrong time zone. So how do we change that? Well, first on the left-hand side bar, let's go down to Project Settings and click that. And then where it says Show App Script.json Manifest File in Editor, we'll click that. And we'll go back to the editor. And we can see in the editor now we have this app script.json file. Let's click on that. And where it says time zone, we've got America, New York. Now you could probably tell from my accent that I might not be in America at the moment. So let's change that around to Australia. So I'll drag that and go Sydney. And I'll hit save just to make sure everything's working. And yeah, it's working. Okay, so most of the time zones are set up by country then slash, and then the prominent city in the area that you're currently in or your client's in. So you can change that accordingly with limited room for error. However, there's a limited list and it might not have every city in there. What I usually like to do is go by GMT. I'm a bit old school there. So my first thought was to just simply type in GMT and then plus seven, for example, and hit save. But as you can see down the bottom here, it is an error. So it's an invalid time zone. So what you actually need to do is type in etc slash gmt and then your dedicated time zone. So let's go minus 10, for example, and hit save. Control S and that's perfectly fine. I provided a link in the description below for more details on how to add the correct time zone that you need. And I've given you a Google Sheet with the list of all the time zones that I found and also a conversion for the GMT time zones as well. So if you don't want the script JSON file up anymore, you can go back to the project settings, then uncheck it, and you can see it's all done. Then you can go ahead and check your time triggers and everything should be running well, hopefully. All right, good luck. Happy coding.